All right, so I know it's been a while since I've been on YouTube and um, this video has kind of already been made before by uh, Project Ajax and I'm not trying to trying to steal his idea or you know anything like that. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna re be replacing the crankcase bent tube that goes from the crankcase on the engine of this four wheeler to the air box. The reason why I'm doing this is because I um, was riding the four wheeler the other day and the snorkel went up under sucked up a bunch of water into the air box and uh i was scared that it was going to get in my crankcase well luckily it never did it never filled up the air box that high but uh i'm trying to do this to keep from having that issue and uh anyways we're just going to put some loops in this this line basically making it longer and uh anyways that's that's really all it's going to be so but yeah let's get into it You want to take and put the hose clamp on this side. Hey, it's okay, Huntley. And then you want to take and get this side here on. This is very hard to do where y'all can see. Without cutting myself on this exhaust. So, it started, but um... Anyways, come on. So, after you've got that on, I'll have to push the rest of the way on. And we're going to straighten our clamps up. And we're going to tighten it down. But anyways, really the best way to do this is going to be to have this side on here. Bring it up and bring it around this little line here. And then I'm going to make my two loops. All right, so this right here is how we're gonna run it. Put my hose clamp here back on. Run that up away so it's not in my way. Tuck that back through. And we're gonna get on this nipple here. Okay. And we're gonna cut some more off. It's too long. normal pocket knife is so I'm using my filet knife which is always good okay so that there's gonna be where I want it let's see if I get them get them on the sniffle push them all the way on Okay. Right. So my hose clamps are going to be eight millimeter. So your eight millimeter here, and uh, see about tightening these things down. I'm gonna go ahead and grab an extension. I'm gonna need one to get to that back one. But uh, let's see. Let me loosen this one up right here. Yeah. Oh, I ain't gonna need to. Okay. We're gonna tighten this one here down. And you can use a well, I don't know if a bit driver will work on this or not. But just want to get that good and tight so you know it's not going to come off. That's good there. Now that this is on, we're going to want to take some zip ties and actually zip tie all this stuff together and try to keep it off of the exhaust and not only the exhaust but off the head of the engine there. So what I'll actually wind up doing 
is I'm gonna take some zip ties and zip tie it together here and also around this hose. And I'm gonna take it at the bottom and zip tie around the front of the, or one of the starter spacers right here. So now I'm just gonna take and tighten down this other side with my ratchet here. Mm -hmm. Alright, now both ends of this are tight. I'm going to see about going and getting some zip ties. I'm going to zip tie all this up. Alright, so what I'm going to try and do first with zip tying is there is actually a little spacer bolt down here. And it's kind of hard to see with these um, hoses in the way, but while my finger's touching on here, right in front of that yellow sticker, that is actually a spacer. And there's a gap between the spacer and the starter there. So I'm going to run a zip tie through that and around and I'm going to hook both these hoses up to it and zip tie it. That way it'll be zip tied very close to that um, and then away from the exhaust so I can avoid some heat and uh, then we'll see about doing the other ones. So, so now that I've got this on so I'm going to take, pull that like that, and I'll, don't worry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clip that. Um, but you don't want to get it too terribly tight and actually squeeze those hoses together. But I'm going to take and do that from that side, and then from the, yep. Uh, so now I'm also going to take and zip tie it here. And I'll just have to cut that. And that's going to keep me away from everything that I need to be away from. And I'll probably get another piece of heater hose and stick right there in the future between the head and the engine and my hose. So that way I can stay away from it. Um, anyways, that's pretty much it there. So uh, cut these zip ties.